Okay, so I'm going to be discussing how the Wii U was not the golden age for Nintendo fans. In fact, it was a struggle. And also, too, let's ask the question, was Wii U a good console? But before I get to that, I want you guys to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that way you can be notified for future Levon Kaysen videos and future Levon Kaysen YouTube shorts. Let's get to the video. Was Wii U the golden era for Nintendo fans and was Wii U a good console? Well, let me answer both of those questions right now. No, the Wii U wasn't a golden era for Nintendo fans. In fact, it was a struggle being a Nintendo fan out here back in, say, you know, 2013 to all the way up to, say, late 2016. Like, it was a struggle being a Nintendo fan because the Wii U had droughts, especially the first part of its life, you know, Coming into 2013, like, we had to wait until, like, what, six to eight months for a Nintendo first-party game? And a big first-party game that came out for the Nintendo Wii U was Pikmin 3, and we had to wait until August to get that? I mean, there was Game & Wario, but that came out, what, in, like, June of 2013? So we had to wait nearly half a year to get a first-party game... <laughs> for this console right here, the Wii U. And overall, was the Wii U a good system? Eh, I say with modding, it could be a good system, but without modding, it was at best mad to okay. Nothing more, nothing less. And that's just me being honest. And a lot of people thought that the gamepad was, you know, heavy, Personally, I didn't have that feeling. I thought the gamepad, honestly, was comfortable. I think it's, you know, more comfortable than holding the Nintendo Switch. Again, that's just me. I'm just being real. I'm just being honest with you guys. The gamepad, you know, the Wii U gamepad was comfortable. And a lot of people thought that this right here was the console itself. This thing, the Wii U gamepad. They thought it was the console itself. But that wasn't the case. This was the actual console. The Wii U's UI was very slow. And also, too, who the Wii U was really for? Was it just for the traditional Nintendo fan? Was it for the hardcore gamer that was on PS3 and Xbox 360 and PC? Like... Who the Wii U was really for at that time? Nintendo had, you know, marketing issues when it comes to this console right here, the Wii U. You know, people were confused and all that. In fact, I'm going to ask you guys this. When you guys, you know, explain to, say, a casual or whatever that's not really into the gaming industry like that, that this right here isn't the whole system, but this is the real system... And when they found out that the Wii U wasn't actually a new console, did they actually say, you know what, I'm going to go pick up a Wii U? Or were they like, eh, I'm going to just stick to my smartphone. Eh, I'm going to just get that PlayStation 4 and see what Xbox is doing with that Xbox One. I bet a lot of people were probably leaning towards, you know, I'm going to stick with my smartphone. I'm going to probably go somewhere else, such as PlayStation and Xbox. But maybe, you know, maybe, hey, maybe there were a couple people out there that discovered that this was an actual new console and not accessory for the Wii. Maybe they did actually pick up the Wii U. Who knows? Let me know in the comment section below when it comes to that. Also, another thing that I want to discuss here is, yes, the Wii U was the first 8th generation console. It was. And that was based on time. Now, when it comes to the specs of this thing, the Wii U had a more powerful GPU. The Wii U had more RAM. Yes, yes it did. It had two gigabytes of RAM and one gig used for the games. And the PS3 and 360 had like, you know, 512 megabytes of RAM or whatever. But how much of that RAM was usable when it comes to the games? And plus there was developers out there that were saying that the Wii U CPU was slow. Particularly Metro's last light, you know, THQ said that pretty much. But yeah, Wii U was more powerful than the PS3 360. But did it, you know, showcase that at launch? Uh, it, it was kind of hit and miss on that one. It, I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of hit and miss when it comes to being, you know, a true next generation system when it comes to specs and power. Showcasing that, you know, at launch, it was kind of hit and miss. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. 
Uh, so Wii U third party support by 2014 was nearly non-existent. There was some third party support for the Wii U back in 2012. There was some third party support for the Wii U back in 2013. But when 2014 hit, it just dried up like that. But even when the PS4 and Xbox One came out, there were still, you know, big third-party games came out on the PS3 and 360, such as, you know, Far Cry 4 and Alien Isolation. So, I think there could have been a possibility where I was thinking to myself when I was like, what, 14, 15, that maybe if the Wii U had sold a bit more, we could have gotten, say, you know, a version of Alien Isolation or maybe even a version of um, Far Cry 4 on the Wii U because, like I said... Those games not only came on the PS4 and Xbox One, but those games also came out on the PS3 and 360. And a lot of people thought that the Wii U was, you know, on par with the PS3 and 360. So if you had that way of thinking, then Wii U could have probably ran a version of Far Cry 4 and Alien Isolation and even, you know, get GTA 5. But hey, it is what it is. But... When you mod a Wii U, it's actually a pretty great system. It's a good system. But when you just have the Wii U by itself, it's a mid to okay system at best, honestly, if anything. So overall, was the Wii U good? Eh, I say it was mid to okay. And also, too, the 3DS is what kept, you know, Nintendo to be relevant. A lot of Nintendo fans also, you know bought 3DSs and just skipped out on the Wii U as well. There was that too. And also too, a lot of Nintendo Directs at that time focused on the 3DS and the Wii U. <laughs> yeah, there was that. So that's all I got to say. Wii U wasn't the golden age for Nintendo fans. It was a struggle and the Wii U was meant to okay at best. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that the Wii U was the golden age for Nintendo fans? Or do you guys think that the Wii U was a good system? Let me know in the comment section below of this YouTube video. This is Levi Case to sign out in peace and thanks for watching. So now that you have made it to the end of the video, I want you guys to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And when you hit that notification bell, you gotta hit all notifications. So that way you can be notified for future Levi Case and tech videos. Future live on case in gaming videos, future live on case in live streams, and also other videos that I do, such as, you know, reaction videos and, and things of that nature. Bye.